My goodies, my goodies, dun, 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 dun. not my goodies. What's going on, Reefing fan? March here, Fragbox TV. If anyone knows where that song is from, you can comment below. Um, I don't know why it's stuck in my head. What is this? What am I doing? Why are the lights out? This is a TDS meter that I'm gonna install in a second downstairs in the basement. Just opened the shop. It is Sunday. Hello, happy Thanksgiving, um, Canada. That's where we're from. Welcome back to the channel. This is a shop that specializes in ta-da saltwater aquariums, and in Canada. Uh, we're actually here in Toronto, in Canada. We do Thanksgiving on a different day than the United States. So for us, it is today. And I'm going to talk to you as I open the store and turn on all the lights and unlock the door. You want to see what Canada looks like? I'm going to show you guys a couple of times. This is not a good representation. This is kind of an ugly street. But look at that, wherever you're watching from. Now you're in Canada and the snow is coming. It's starting to get cold. Okay, why am I installing a TDS ah, meter? Because we want to see total dissolved solids, that's what TDS stands for, coming out of our RODI, reverse osmosis deionization. deionization. Okay, those are a lot of acronyms there. If you're not currently using one, this is a great idea for getting super clean water into your aquarium. It's going to filter your tap water. And I'm a little bit of a hypocrite because I'm saying all that and I'm going to be setting up a new tank at my house because the one on my desk is completely full. The, um, I had, let me show you, one of these at home. Maybe you guys saw the video. I'll link in the description on my desk. It, nope. Next one we're going to set up much bigger um, is going to be this one. And I'm actually going to use tap water because I want to show you guys it's really not that bad in the city of Toronto. I'm not sure where you're watching from or you live. Maybe you can comment below too. Um, if you have the possibility of using RODI, go with one of those. Um, but it's not always practical for everyone to hook one up depending on where you live. Actually, let me show you this. So while I have you here, -da -da, this is something we sell. You can buy it from us. We can ship it to you anywhere in the world, even Come on, what's the country I always say? Starts with a Z, ends with Zimbabwe. I don't know why I always say Zimbabwe. I think I just like the, the name of that country, the way it's Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe. Okay, this is a quality seal, I promise. We're gonna get along. We're gonna go put this very soon, the TDS meter. But this is how we do it on the channel. We get sidetracked very quickly and we start talking about Canada, my house, Zimbabwe. Boom, check this out. As far as I know, this is the smallest RODI that you can get. Um, it's a four stage and it's really easy. They call it the Buddy. Look how small it is. You can easily install this anywhere in your house. It retails for about a hundred bucks US. You can grab it from us on our website. Uh, actually, if you want it internationally, go to reefcasa.com, R-E-E-F-C-A-S-A. -E -E and you can easily mount this um, right there underneath the sink. You could do it in a laundry room. You could do it in a washroom. You could do it um, anywhere that you have water. You could do it in a furnace room. It's super tiny. It is a four stage underneath here. There is a um, DI membrane. And the cool thing about it is, now that I'm fucking up the whole box, um, there's your membrane. It comes with this little faucet adapter. So if you're not a plumber, you can just hook it up with one of these to a, it's like a three quarter inch um, garden hose adapter, or we also sell this. Let me show you. From here in the back, we have some parts here, not too much. This is a little uh, fitting that will tee into your water lines. Um, so really any standard water line for like a sink, it basically lets you tee off so you can connect it to that unit. You can shut it off with this. Okay, done. there's my little sales pitch for the day. Let's take all these fun little parts. We do sell some John Guest fittings. I'm gonna take them to the basement, the haunted basement. And let's go hook up this TDS meter. Pretty sure I grabbed two as well. So what we wanna do is run one before and after. So we want, when I say before and after, source water coming in, I wanna see um, what the TDS is coming in. And then I wanna see again, the TDS coming out. This one has a built-in one, but I'm all about redundancy. I've used a similar unit in the past where it did fail and then I was relying on that reading. So, because water is really, you know, in keeping a saltwater tank, you're not really maintaining corals. This is what I'm always telling people. You're maintaining the water. If you take care of the water, the corals are gonna take care of themselves. And I know, again, I just said that I'm gonna be using tap water at home, so I know I sound like a hypocrite, but um, if you, not everyone has the room for something like this. So this is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stage RODI. We do here in the store sediment, uh, five micron carbon block. 
uh, I think we're using the BRS one right now, Bulk Reef Supply, a double chloramine block because I do find that we do get some chloramines here in Toronto. And if you really want to get serious about keeping hard coral or Acropora growing them, especially on a commercial setting like this, then then really this you're going to need one of these. For most hobbyists, like I said, this really, really isn't that bad. Okay, so we do a double chloramine. Then we hit our membrane up here, 100 gallon per day membrane. And then we do actually a triple um, DI because I do color changing one here. You can see it's changing color, obviously, as it becomes exhausted. Or not obvious, maybe you're new to this and you're trying to get ideas to start a saltwater tank. And then we go to the, I like three because it really just gives us enough time to sort of see um, in case it's exhausting too fast. This is reminding me of Jaffa cakes, which I've yet to try. So if anyone knows where to get Jaffa cakes in Canada, I really want to try some Jaffa cakes. Funnel cake, if you don't know what that is, Google funnel cake. It's a different kind of cake. Aquarium composition, if you're watching, shout out. Thank you very much for the Audio Jack uh, suggestion. I actually just did order some so I can run some more of those optical sensors. Thank you very much, senor. Okay, this one is brought to us from HM Digital. We're not sponsored by them. They were just inexpensive and on BRS, so I thought we'll, we'll give them a shot. Very, very easy installation. Um, all you have to do is basically cut the line. I use some scissors and then shove this in. Now I'm just doing a leak test to make sure water's not gonna come out of here and here. And I installed one more thing. If you guys have seen on the channel, we're doing quite a bit of traveling. And one of my favorite parts about this whole channel in the business is getting to connect with other people that have stores that are in this because I'm always learning from them. So I hope that you guys can learn something from me. And I learn from people that have been doing this much longer than me. You know, I, I look up to people like Paul at Advanced Aquarium Consultancy, Dan over there at uh, Tidal Gardens, the guys at Cherry Corals, um, Worldwide Corals. And I learned something very simple from the last time I was just there in Europe um, at, at Paul's place, Advanced Aquarium Consultancy, is that you know, it seems so stupid. I didn't know this all this time that maybe I should really read the instructions that come with stuff, but that you need to flush your, uh, I feel dumb just saying it, your RO membrane that's in here. When you put a new unit, it should be flushed for about 20 minutes before you start using it. I haven't been doing that ever. And um, that may account for some of the higher TDS we were getting out of here. So it was really just an easy fix, just two valves so that when we change this, basically I can close this one. So we're gonna take the water that should have been going in here and we're just gonna flush it down the drain um, uh, every time we change the, the thing. So something so simple and I'm so happy to have learned that. So now we can see here on the first one. So coming out of our first um, couple stages, so our sediment our carbons over here and our membrane it's getting us almost to zero tds which is our goal usually you want to change all of the cartridges if you hit even one tds total dissolved solids this is measuring in ppm which is parts per million and over here oh i'm actually getting a one interesting hmm okay we'll let it run a little bit longer so i really want to see a zero coming out of this side all right i'm getting a zero now maybe because it's uh we just installed it or i just changed the di resin as well but that's really what we want is a zero and i think a lot of people um myself included up until now recently let this go way far past its due date and we end up i'm just going to turn these off because they are battery operated we let these go way way too long before changing them and we're kind of reactive and we start changing them once we notice problems with the tank or algaes. Um, we do have a schedule set up here um, when to change them. So that's really not a bad idea. If we don't, up until now, we weren't really checking TDS. All we did was um, every couple weeks, let's just swap them all out. So this is a little bit more efficient um, doing it in this way. And that is it for today's video, I think, I guess. We'll wrap it up. Pretty much, uh, happy Thanksgiving to everyone. Very thankful for everyone that watches this channel. Our new staff here in the store. There isn't gonna be a sale. I don't really like doing sales, if I'm being um, truthful. I, um, I find that it just kinda, you can't discount quality. You know what I mean? These are living animals. We don't wanna put them on sale, but we do sometimes. We'll probably do something for Black Friday. Actually, we will definitely do something for Black Friday. I'm not sure what it is yet, but if you have something on your wish list, and you want to support us, we can send you any of the hardware dry goods off the shelf. Just let us know. You're looking for radions, you're looking for an Apex, you're looking for CJ return pumps, whatever it is, we can send this stuff. And um, it won't be until the end of November, so I'm speaking really, really, really too early right now. Um, 
yeah, so no sale for this weekend, but we'll see. Sometimes they pop up. It's just, I, I found that people would come in and, um, like we all want to save money. So sometimes we'll do something like a lost leader. I'll do Astria snails. Here, I'm giving you a little bit of business insight into Fragbox. We'll do some of the snails at cost or just below cost to get people in the store. And then once you're in here, you're screwed because there's no way you're walking out with just the snails. You're gonna see something. You're gonna pick up something off the shelf. So it helps to get people in the shop. But I don't wanna be um, that kind of discount shop that's constantly putting stuff um, on sale. There are other retailers here in the city that do that. And I, I just don't think it's good for the name, for the brand. Um, Mm, yeah, you ever hear like, not saying that we're a Ferrari, but did you ever hear Ferrari doing like um, a sale? They haven't done one ever in the history of the company. They never do, you never turn on the radio in the car and hear, oh, Ferrari's doing 1.9% APR, friends and family discount. Come on down this weekend for your 458 Scuderia. It doesn't happen. It never happens because um, you, you don't discount quality. That's all I'm trying to say. TS Tank is looking fire, man. It's looking really, really good. You know what? We gotta get, what is up with you? What are you doing? Are you dying or just stupid? Have you seen this fish? Sorry? Have you seen this fish? The one in the corner. Whatever. Oh my goodness, let's see, hold on. Are you dumb? Yeah, you're fine. Oh. They're bullying each other, or one is bullying the other, they're the same size. Let's see, are you guys being bullies? Yeah, he's swimming like a, a goof. I'm trying to not to use, Trying not to use the R word, but you are really, really goofy. What a strange fish. Acting all funky. We have clowns in stock, actually, if you're looking for any of the ORA stuff. We're going to do another order, a custom order. So what I want to do with the fish a little bit more often is before we do ORA orders, um, I'll send out an email like a week or two weeks before so you guys can get in. Let us know which one specifically you're looking for because then you can get the ones you've always wanted um, and they have a lot of cool ones they don't always have all of them in stock but we do have a nice selection of them in stock and i'll give you a little rundown actually of what we have for fish we don't have too much usually i have some or uh, one oh, where is he he was there chalk bass engineer gobies these are really funky um hector Go banded possum wrasse it's pretty funky i see in here oh he's hiding in the corner it's kind of hard to see with the camera we have a long nose hawkfish Domino damsel, a cleaner wrasse, a pink streak wrasse. Where are you? Come on, focus camera. This is a really cool little one. Man, he's too small. The water's moving too much. Some firefish, some aptasia eating filefish. This chunky lemon damsel. Hello. Some quarantine chromis. You can see four of them in here. They look really good. And this tank, someone come pick this up. This is a TS tank uh, house, you may have seen it in the other videos. It's 450 bucks, comes with the stand, custom made tank, um, doesn't need an overflow or some sort of filter, but it's really nice. It's uh, five feet, 15 inches, 12 inches, it's 50 gallons, and it's 449. And uh, yeah, I don't know what kind of cool little interesting project you can come up with. Maybe you could throw a sump under here, you could drill it, you could do a hang on the back uh, filter, but it's a really kind of unusual tank. Just like Tia, it was at her place, she was running it for about a year as sort of like a long macro algae tank. Okay, that's it. This time we'll actually wrap up the video. If you guys got any questions about RODI or aquariums or anything at all, you can always reach us. At, uh, email's really the best, fragboxcorals at gmail.com. Our phone gets flooded with phone calls. I can't ask you guys enough. Please, please, please just send an email. Um, we actually had to take our number off of Google. I didn't expect to get phone calls from all over the world. So YouTube, it's kind of like a weird, not really a problem, but the phone has been completely destroyed um, by people just calling from everywhere at all hours and spam as well. So I used to put our phone number on the videos and it's on Google and now we had to take it off, which kind of sucks for local people, but the phone just would not stop ringing and I want to help each and every one of you. The best way is going to be email. We cannot use the phone to address uh, aquarium issues during business hours. It's just, com the, the number's completely ruined. It's just uh, something I really didn't foresee. So that being said, and being all negative, fragboxcorals at gmail.com is the best way to get in touch with us. And we'll see you guys back here on the next episode of Fragbox TV. Bye for now.